but before we go to the Q&A session, we want to show you how our technology works in practice. For this, Aslan will jump on stage in a minute to do a live demonstration of our compression capabilities. But before we do so, let me guide you through what you are about to see. We'll take the bird image from the codec data set and we'll compress it one time with our technology, the dbrender codec, and one time with BPG technology, better portable graphics. We'll compress both files to the same visual quality and end up with a compressed image with the dbrender algorithm and a compressed image from BPG with the same quality. And we'll compare the size of these compressed files. And what you will notice is that there's a significant difference in the size of these images. And what that shows is that all of the theory we discussed earlier is actually applicable in practice too. And with this, I hand over to Aslan. Thank you very much for that, Chris. So yeah, as Chris mentioned, we'll take the zeroth image of the Kodak dataset. We'll go ahead and we'll compress it with the deep render code, uh, encoder first, show you the bitstream, and show you the decoded image. We'll then go ahead and do that with the BPG encoder um, and show you the bitstream and the decompressed image. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and, and call the deep render encoder. Let's call the compress function on it and pass in our desired image. And what you'll see is, you'll see a bitstream pop up on the left hand side in the file system. You'll see some quality metrics uh, pop up as well, and as well as the decoded image. Something you notice here is the size of the bitstream. It's roughly 5.3 KB uh, in, co uh, in comparison to the original image, which is roughly 564. Also, the quality measure we printed here is the MSC. We printed that for a reason. It's because when we encode the image with the BPG encoder, we want to encode it to the same visual quality, so we'll pass that in as a metric. So let's go ahead and do that, the same thing with the BPG encoder, and, have, and then have a look at the bit streams. So now I'll call the BPG encoder. I'll also call the compress function. And I'll pass in the same image as before. I forgot to pass in the uh, quality metric, so I'll actually pass in the quality metric which we printed out last time. So let's do that again. What it'll do is it'll work through all the different quality settings of BPG and it'll stop at one which roughly matches uh, our desired 13. Uh, so both our images look roughly the same. It'll then also save the bitstream on the file system. And what I'll first do is I'll show you the comparison in the bit streams and then we'll have, we'll have a quick look at the uh, image quality comparison. So the .bpg is the BPG bit stream, which is roughly 15.6 KB. And the .dr is the, the deep render bit stream, which is roughly 5.3 KB. That's an astonishing 3x drop in the, file, uh, in, in the bit stream. And I'll put the images side by side. So this is the BPG image, and this is the deep, ren deep render images, uh, image. And I want you to notice, note that the quality is, uh, you can't tell the difference between the quality, uh, perceptually uh, similar. Um, and yeah, with that in mind, I'll hand back to Chris. Thank you, Asla. Just a very quick summary of what, what you have seen so far. For now, we can compress images up to three times better than the best market standard out there. Deep render technology is right now already three times better than BPG. And with this, a new era in compression technology is beginning. And now we are ready to take your questions. Thank you very much.